Hey everybody, it is time to get excited because this is your last workout, the 10th workout of a 10 workout series that's been done for two months, eight weeks. So it's the last one. What are we gonna do to make it special? We're gonna do strength training. If you did the last two workouts with me a couple of times, we did intervals of 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off. That was to build your stamina for cardio and for strength. Today, it's all about the muscles, baby. It's gonna be 12 exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest as we go to the next exercise. So technically this is called a circ out and this is getting you ready to move on in the world to harder, more difficult workouts. So all we need is a mat and some dumbbells and let's get to it. So we're gonna do our warm up holding the dumbbells. Let's start off with our knees bent and this time we'll just bring the arms up out to the side and down. We're gonna breathe up, inhale and exhale, palms facing me. Don't go all the way up overhead. I don't want you to use your neck. And one more, inhale up and exhale down. Roll your shoulders back. If at any time these dumbbells are too heavy to do for a warm up, maybe you went to heavier weights while I wasn't looking, then just drop the dumbbells. But I'm using nice light ones, so this feels great while I stretch. Let's do single shoulders back. And four, three, two and some neck rolls roll the neck to one side and the other way one more time each direction nice and smooth and we'll turn to the side we're going to stretch the back leg press the heel down on the back leg so you're lengthening up through the heel up your calf up the back of your leg and then lunge forward and then bend the knee and straighten it to open up that hip and if you can bring the arms back and just hold press press and press and then roll the shoulder back a few more times, opening the front of the shoulder, and then we're gonna switch legs. So step back into a lunge, straighten your back leg, press the heel down and then bend it in and out. Make sure you have a good extension there and we're gonna lengthen from that heel up the calf, all the way through the back of the leg and the front of the hip. Lean a little bit forward, put some pressure on that front leg, bring the arms back and maybe just pump them back on this one. It's a little Pilates move here. And then we're gonna roll the shoulder corresponding to the back leg. So roll it back a couple of times. Again, drop the dumbbell if you feel like it. And then turn back to me. Parallel your feet and we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So I'll turn to the side. You're gonna hinge your hips back and then you can round your back on this one if the dumbbells aren't too heavy. But if you can, I prefer you to keep your back straight. It's a little safer for your spine. And then pull yourself up safer for your spine when you're holding dumbbells, that is. Hips back, go to your full extension. How far can those hamstrings stretch? Use your glutes and pull yourself up really slow. One more time to stretch the hamstrings. Soften the knees, hinge your butt back, lengthen down. If you can touch the floor, great, do it. If not, no worries. And roll yourself up this time round the spine. Excellent, now we're gonna bring the arms up overhead Nice big press and then pull them down, flex your muscles, open and close, and open your chest. Open and close, stretch through the chest. One more time and only do this if your dumbbells are light. If they're heavy, you can put them down and then release. All right, so let's begin our workout. First exercise, we're gonna do 40 seconds on for all of them, 20 seconds of rest for all of them, and we're gonna finish a couple of the last exercises on your mat. First exercise is called a stiff leg deadlift. Looks like the hamstring stretch you just did, only you're not gonna come all the way down. So follow me, 40 seconds, here we go. Hinge the hips back, let the arms just dangle in front of the thighs and squeeze your glutes under. So as you come up, tighten up those butt cheeks. Push them back, pull them under. Don't do these too fast. You wanna take enough time to stretch on the way down and then engage and squeeze on the way up. Watch my shoulders, open up. Don't exaggerate it but just feel some length and opening across your chest. That's it, so you should feel this in your glutes. If you don't, maybe go a tiny bit lower, but don't go lower than tabletop. So maybe check a mirror. I only want you to go to a flat back. Three, two, one, and you're gonna rest for 20 seconds while I show you the next exercise. Next is gonna be a dumbbell squat, so you're holding your dumbbells and then we're gonna come up to an upright row. So the dumbbells are gonna end kind of around your armpits, elbows a little bit higher. So let me show you from the side. You're gonna squat 
and then do that upright row for 40 seconds. Ready, set, begin. So squat, watch your knees, make sure they stay in line with your hips and your toes. Your butt moves back on a squat, so always keep that good habit. I won't be with you all the time after this. My children are graduating, good for you. Sit and lift. So we're working the front of the shoulders as we pull up, a little bit in the back of the shoulders as we squeeze the shoulder blades back, and then all those leg muscles, quads, hamstrings, and gluteals. Abs stay tight. And pull. Got a few more, five seconds, four, three, two, and time. So the next exercise is gonna be a sumo squat to a bicep curl. So we're gonna be squatting down, making sure the knees are going over your toes, so don't let them curl in, and make sure that they don't splay out. Keep your feet flat, and then on the way up, we're gonna do a bicep curl for 40 seconds. So let's get ready, palms to me. Three, two, and begin. Sumo squat, bicep curl. So just get that all coordinated, down and up, arms follow the legs, butt cheeks squeezing on your way up, and the most important thing you can do here to really engage the backs of your legs is to push your heels into the ground as you come up. So feel that, push your heels down as your body lifts. And then feel those inner thighs tighten up as you lift. And you should definitely be feeling those butt cheeks too. As for the biceps, well you know, if it gets too easy, time to move up into the next set of weights. So it's only 40 seconds, but that's more than we've been doing. We've only been doing 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. In 20 seconds, we're gonna begin a one-arm row. So we're gonna do the right arm for 40 seconds, and then the left arm for 40 seconds. So let's get ready into position. One arm on your thigh, other arm hangs down, and let's row. Here we go. 40 seconds of a one-arm row. In the last workout, we only did 30 seconds. So this may feel a little more fatiguing. We're using two dumbbells instead of one, trying to keep the back nice and still. Reach and pull. Notice how I'm not bobbing up and down and my legs are strong and planted. My knee is over my ankle, not my toe. Check that out on yourself. And pull back, keep the neck long and strong. You never want to look like you're carrying a bunch of grocery bags on your shoulder and hunching over. Keep those going, pull. Four, three, two, and time. All we're gonna do is switch legs, so shake this arm out, maybe roll it back a few times. Then we're gonna do the other side. So one leg forward, get your position first. Other leg is stretched back. Try to keep the back leg straight. Front knee bent with the knee over the ankle, not over the toe. So in five, four, three, let's row that boat. Here we go. One arm row, reach and pull. And you may notice that I'm doing a slight rotation. I want you to do that too, but very slight. So it's kind of like a lawnmower motion. You remember those, all, those old lawnmowers your parents had? The kind before they had a gas engine and you just had to crank it to get it started? Or a motorboat, those old ones? Yeah, that's kind of like this. So if you ever have to go to a manual lawnmower, not that you will, but if you ever have to, you'll have those muscles ready. All right, gang, here we go. Let's pump it up. You only have a few seconds left. Five, four, get to that burn. Three, two, and time. More arms. This time it's for the front of the shoulders. That was the back of the shoulders. So in 20 seconds, we're gonna be doing the Arnold press. Palms are gonna face in, rotate out, press up and in. So we're gonna do 40 seconds worth. You can use your legs a little bit too to get the heart rate up. Ready, set, arms in, and here we go. Up and down. So I'm doing this little thing with my legs called a push press. That just means as I press the arms up, I'm pushing my feet down, hence push press. Now here's the clincher. Look at where your elbows are. Make sure they're not lower than your chest. What, have you been doing it like that all along? I hope so, above the chest, so we don't want it down here. You wanna keep those elbows a little bit high. And push press. Make sure your butt's not tucked under. On that push press, you want your hips to just drift back an inch, and then you push up to the ceiling, or your sky. Three, two, one, and time. Excellent. Next is gonna be a rear lunge. So you'll just hold the dumbbells, and we're gonna step back, and squat into a lunge. So I'll give you a diagonal version so you can see. Stepping back, lunge, bring it together. 
Get ready. We're gonna alternate for 40 seconds. Get set and go. Step back and lunge. This will challenge your balance. Later on when you do more advanced workouts, you may be doing the lunge to the front. That's a little harder. The back lunge is a little safer and a little easier. Then if you want, go ahead and pump those dumbbells up. Why not? Let's get that heart rate up a little bit. We're stepping straight back. Ideally, we want both knees to bend about 90 degrees. That would be an ideal world. Not everyone's able to do that for flexibility reasons, balance reasons, maybe strength reasons, but you're getting closer and closer. And five more seconds. And time. All right, in 20 seconds, we've got a really good exercise that I came up with just for you guys today. We're gonna do something called a lateral raise into the offering. The offering is palms up and you're gonna hand me a tray. All right, so it's lateral raise and then offer me something good. Here we go. Lateral raise, bring it in and then offer me something good. I hope it's yummy. Homemade, I don't know. Something healthy, I hope. Homemade kale sprouts, salad, I don't know. Reach forward, pull in, and up. If you see it from the side, I'm reaching out, then I'm pulling back, and then turning my palms down. So this is really good for the shoulders. Just make sure you're not using your neck. Lateral raise and the offering. That's also a Pilates exercise. Five seconds, four, feeling that burn, three, two, and time. Next is the rear deltoid row with a tricep kickback. Huh? Sounds complicated. So we're gonna do a rear deltoid row that's pulling the arms back and apart and then bringing them in and squeezing back into a tricep. All right, so here we go. In three, two, open wide, bring them back and in, tricep kickback. Open wide, Bring them in and kick back. So lots of arm muscles working here, primarily the backs of your arms. All over the place. Out, open, in, pull and press. Out, open, in, pull and press. So I like you having one leg forward and one leg back just for your stability. Reach and pull it open. Reach and kick it back. Make sure the elbows stay bent on that pull. And five seconds, elbow stay bent. Three, two, and time. Next, we're gonna do the curtsy and then we'll be taking it to the floor. So you all remember the curtsy, right? We cross back, having the knee forward and toe forward, and then we just switch sides. But we're doing 40 seconds instead of 30 like those other workouts. So get ready. I want you to move nice and big. Ready, set, and go. Curtsy back. And then again, like we did on the last workout, if you were with me on that one, we did some arm movement. It's just optional. It will get your heart rate up. Make these big. The working leg is the front leg, not the back leg. So let that back leg slide back and bend that front knee deep, chest up and tall. And if you do these well, you're gonna feel that heart rate go up, like my voice, up, higher and higher. <laughs> Just like your butt cheeks are gonna be lifting higher and higher the more you do these workouts. <laughs> Just a few more, five seconds. Work it out for me. Three and two and time. Hitting the floor. So come on down to the mat. One or two dumbbells. And we're gonna do the Russian twist. If your dumbbells are light, you'll hold two. If your dumbbells are heavy, you'll just do one. Dumbbells are gonna be together, and this was the Russian twist, side to side. In three, two, here we go. 40 seconds worth. That is no joke. I am sure you're not laughing right now, but try to smile. So we're rotating the rib cage side to side with your shoulders, keeping your butt still, your heels down, don't let them come up. And the farther you lean back, the harder it is. The more you sit up, the easier it is. So find a place that's challenging for you. We're getting close. Remember you can do it with just one dumbbell. Rotate to the side, aiming that elbow to the floor. And four, three, two, and time. 20 second break and next we're gonna do a side plank. So we're gonna be on one elbow, either on your knee, but if you've mastered it, you're gonna be on both feet, and we're gonna 
bring this dumbbell up and down to the floor. So one arm row. Get ready, get set, lift up into your plank, pick your dumbbell up, and then just row it. Now, if you're feeling a little more advanced already, or your knee is down because it's too hard on your core, then you can bring it up and press it to the ceiling or the sky. If you can do both, we're gonna be pulling it up off the ground. Hey, wait a minute. This feels like an advanced workout already. Yeah, you're getting there. I told you you're graduating. This one is one of the hardest ones we have today, I think. Remember to put your bottom knee down if you need. Don't let the shoulder strain. And five, four, three, and time. We just have to do the other side. So while you're taking your 20 second break, you're repositioning. The other hand is gonna be on top. Remember, you can do it with your knee on the floor or up. Elbow is in line with your shoulder. Make sure you're not sinking down. Let's get ready to get up. Here we go. Side plank, and we're gonna row it up and down off the floor. So just pick it up, put it down. That's all weightlifting is. That's how we get strong. We pick things up, we put them down. And then if you can, you'll reach up to the ceiling in a vertical line. Make sure you don't overextend. So don't open your chest up too far. Keep your chest facing me, please. Don't turn to the sky. Always modify as you need. This exercise takes some time to build up to, so you may have to do it a handful of times till you get closer to mastering it. To the floor, to the sky, or just pulling it up and down. Last four seconds, three, two, and time. All right, gang, let's bring this home. The last exercise is gonna be quadruped. Bye, dumbbell. So we'll be on our hands and knees. We're gonna reach the arm out and then tap it down and switch. If you want, have your dumbbells under your hands and we can make it harder by reaching out like this. Here we go. Reach out and down, switch. The secret, or I should say the trick is, to try to get the arm and leg lifting and lowering at the same time. Squeeze those butt cheeks. You're gonna feel those butt muscles working right as you extend that leg and reach the arm out as straight as possible. It's okay to bend it like this, that's fine. Try to go straight. That's gonna put more gravitational pull on your body and that's just gonna make the work a little harder. We're almost done. So bent arms are straight and finish up your last five seconds, and then it's party time. Three, two, and woo, party time, guys. You've done all 10 workouts. Roll the dumbbells out of your way, sit back in child pose, and just be happy. Come up into cat-cow position, knees and hands, shoulders distance apart, round your back, tighten up your tummy, stretch out the muscles of your spine, head dangles, and release, do it again, Cat position, you've done this in every workout, right? And release, and three's a charm, last one. Round it up, and release it down. And let's go to another stretch. This one we've done before, we're gonna do the full mermaid. Both feet to one side, one hand on the floor. This is gonna be the easier side, so we're gonna reach up and over. Nice, easy stretch. Grab onto the shin or the knee or some part of your leg. Lift straight up and then do a side bend. Oh yeah, that feels good after those planks. Let's do that again. Hand on the floor, lift up and just take it to a nice side bend. Reaching out, up and down, other side. Spine lengthens up tall. And then to the side, that one's the more intense one. And up, and now we're gonna take it to a hamstring stretch. So we'll turn to the side, lengthen out both legs, lift up, inhale, and then just dive over your legs. If that's too intense on your back, just put your hands here or to the side and stretch the backs of the legs. And roll it up. Let's switch to the other side. We're gonna do mermaid both feet to that side the side you didn't do. Try to get your butt cheeks down on the floor. Put this hand down, this hand is holding onto the floor and it's gonna be the easier stretch as you lift up and side bend. Inhale, up tall, bring that hand down, grab somewhere on your leg. Other arm goes up and then to the side. So that's the more intense stretch along the side of your ribs and your waist. And inhale up, let's do that again. This hand down, anchor to the floor, lift up and then bend that elbow. 
reach over all the way to the side of your room or your backyard, wherever you're watching this. Inhale up and bring it down and for the more intense one, up to the sky, long through the spine, side bend, that one's gonna be nice and deep. And lift it back up, inhale and down. Let's take a spine stretch, one leg down, cross this leg over, you've done this a few times now. Give it a nice hug, lift your spine up tall, anchor your butt cheeks to the floor and turn away from the leg that you're pulling. And switch, one leg straight, cross this leg over as much as you can. Opposite arm grabs and anchors and pulls, other hand to the back and you're turning behind that stretching leg. So you're stretching the side of the butt cheek and the spine with the rotation and you're looking back behind you. And then take it back to center. Let's do one more hamstring stretch. So let's take the legs out in front of us. Inhale up, keep the legs as straight as you can. Tighten up and engage the core and reach over. If it's too much to do that, walk your hands down on the floor or on your legs. Well, I'd love for you to be able to get over a barrel and over. And roll it up and turn to me for a deep breath. Inhale up and exhale down. I am so proud of you for going through these eight weeks with me. You've done two months of training, 10 exercise programs. I hope you've done them a few times each and you're ready to move on. I'm really proud of you and I look forward to seeing you in future workouts. Until next time, I'm Jill Brown.